Hey guys, this is the Building Kid, and um, I'm doing another video today. Um, this is gonna be a video on um, an ATM deck review. This, okay, this is the deck I'm reviewing. This is my old deck. I switched it up. I switched it out a couple days ago, like two days ago, I think. Um, the reason I switched it out is because it had really bad razor tail. And I had a chip in the back, and I was like, sort of do that and anything. And so it did not, I, I, it literally had zero pop. Well, um, I possibly might go back to skating this if I do. I'm probably just going to flip it around, put it on backwards. I know it's not exactly going to be that good, but it, even though the nose is bigger, it's still going to be better than skating the razor tail tail. Or I might just sand down the tail. So, yeah. Or probably just both. Probably skate it this way, you know, like if it's that bad. And I still don't have a board in both sides of the tails. But that's like after I fully finish skating this one. This is a Baker. Baker curl. My friend gave me this one. Uh, this one is 8.2, 8.8.0. Which is what I thought I skated because it was the most comfortable until I tried 8.5, which is this. And, um, I'm switching. Because this is like, this, I, I just really like this board. And it's an 8.5, so I'm switching sizes. I know feet sizes do doesn't really matter, like shoe sizes, but when your feet are that big, it kind of does. So I'm 11 and a, 11, 11 and a half in men's. It's a pretty big shoe. So... Yeah, I'm switching to 8.5 from now on. So Baker, and then I have Shake Giant Grip, which is good because this board is like almost brand new. Like that's how worn down the tail is. I've skated it for like one or two days. That's old. That's how worn down the tail is. Like barely anything. And then the only thing wrong with this is why it got switched out was because it's cracked right here, where the trucks are, and then also on the other side. But it cracked through, but not like all the way through. It's pretty hard to break, so like I'm not good enough to break it. So like yeah. Also the grip tape's pretty new, so it has really good grip. Shake jump's pretty good grip. But anyway, let's go on with the reveal. Enough of that deck. Let's get on with this deck. So starting by saying for the price, it is it's a good deck. Okay, it wasn't on sale, so it was thirty dollars. They have other graphics that are also thirty dollars, but I got this one and basically. This is ATM. Can't see it because it's all scratched up. But yeah, and then it's like tie dye gets from like warm colors like pink, red, yellow, uh, orange, and then to like uh, cool colors like green, um, purple, and like the letters are in black. Yeah. So that's the nose. Not that one down. That's the tail. Really bad razor tail. It's got a chip right there. Got a chip in the front, but um, I glued it back down. It has. Um, let's, let's see, does it have any delamination? No. Also, this is mob grip tape, so at least it is still a little grippy. Well, like, it does not grip good anymore. Like, not really. It doesn't grip that well. It's pretty worn down from flicking, because I've had this board for months. So it is pretty used. Um, basically, the only damage I really care about is the grip tape and the razor tail. If it didn't have that, I would still skate it. Or if it didn't have razor tail, I'd still skate it, actually. It's not cracked or anything. Um, it has, like, a little crack in the front, but, like, that's it. So, yeah, I would say for the price, it is a good deck. I don't think I'm gonna be skating an ATM again. I don't think I'm gonna get an ATM again. When I do get decks, I usually look for good decks like you know, real Baker Girl, Chocolate, um, uh, Enjoy Element, like Toy Machine. And sometimes actually I can find them on sale for like thirty five, forty bucks. So like for five, ten bucks, I'd rather get one one of those boards instead of this. But still, I can't find them on sale, and um. They do have these Azumis. I did not get it off Azumis. I got it off Amazon, I think. Yeah, and it came with the sheet of mob grip tape. It was 40 bucks, though, because the mob grip tape is only like three, five bucks, but oh well, I got ripped off five bucks. Oh well. 
the kicks aren't that high, but the concave is like it's stepped. If you don't know what concave is, it's where it sweeps down in here. And stepped is basically instead of going like a curve, it kind of goes down, down, and down. That's sometimes good, but in my case, I kind of like to step concave. It's not that steep. I don't know. I don't know. You decide. If you can even see. The only reason it's got a rope right here because the walls out on the wall, but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna start. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna hang decks up on up on my wall anymore. But uh, yeah, sorry about the lighting. Um, that was basically it, I guess. I mean, um, oh yeah, well I didn't even do anything. So this did. I've skated it for like months, but actually it did get raised until a couple months ago, and then it just kept getting worse. And eventually it got chipped, and then it just kept getting worse again. Overall, uh, oh, the grip tape, the grip tape, the grip tape, yeah, you should buy this. This is a good grip, okay? It's not, and it's very popular grip, so it's not like ATM, oh, you've never heard of that brand, it must be a cheap dip. Oh, mom, grip tape, like, you, you can't say anything bad about mob grip. Unless you like, like, stuff like Stupid Jess up there. Like, it's not, it's not, like, horrible, but for me, I don't know, some people need less grip. I need maximum grip, because I'm not that good. So, like, the most grip I can get, it improves my ollies. And, like, I just need more grip. So, sorry, but, um, I don't know. I didn't mean that, but I just don't just, I don't, just don't think Jessup's a very good grip tape company overall. If you like it, you like it. Hey, skate what you want. I'm not going to tell you what to skate. You skate what you want. I'm not going to try to sound like I know everything about these grip companies. I'm, I'm, I don't. Well, I know it with pretty much a lot of grip companies, but like, and what their grippinesses are. Because I have skated Jessup, but I just don't like it. Skate what you want. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not trying to be like, I don't know. Oh, uh, this, um, you can still kind of see the, and since the concave step is not scratched overall, you see those just two lines, that's because it's stepped and it's, only, it's flat in the middle, that's why it's like only like that, it's like two scratched black lines, like right there and then there, that is just from like practicing dropping in, stuff and dropping in, that's just from like no stalls, not on quarter pipe, I can't do that, I suck to do that. I do them all like on curves, like get on, like get on to the curb, like just like, and then like 180 out, or just get out fakie, you're just 180 out or something. Um, oh crap, I just, my chair just almost walked over. So, <coughs> for the price, I do think you should get it. It is a pretty good deck. Mm. It does raise it till kind of fast, at least. I mean, um, I did not like s I I did not like stop like that, like dragging your tail. I did not do that. The only thing I might have gotten raised tail, obviously, when you pop all these, even if it's just for like a split second, it hits the ground. Still, when you're moving, especially real fast, it still takes material off. Like over time, when you do all these and all these and over and over again, it still takes off a lot of material. Also, when you're throwing down your board, you do that to get speed, and you're running, and you're holding it, and then you drop it. Yeah. So, overall, that was the board review. I think it's a pretty good board. Um, that's pretty much it. It didn't chip really easily. Except for when it got really, except for when it got raised tail. I tried to kick flip. I can't kick flip, but obviously, I was practicing. Kind of rocketed it, and then it went up, and then it kind of went like that. And it chipped in the back, uh, the chip in the front, I actually, wait a minute. No, oh, that can't be, oh, never mind. I thought that was a crack for a second. See that, that really looks like a crack right there. But it's not. Because I did not, like, the highest thing I went off was a curve, and obviously I ollied, so pretty much, I don't know, pretty much just a curve. But, I do weigh, I don't weigh that much, but I weigh, like, really light. I weigh 120 pounds, so, so yeah, 
And when I do ollie, I, like, I relatively do stop on the board. Like, I mean, like, ollie. And then, like, so, and then, like, stop on the board. But, like, when I do ollie, like, my foot isn't, like, right here and here. It's, like, literally above the bolts, like, right there and there. Literally like that. So, yeah. Or sometimes I might, sometimes, like, it's mostly like that. Or sometimes it might land like that. And then, like, on the tail. And I kind of, like, yeah. But the tail hasn't, like, snapped off or anything. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I am probably going to be doing another video right now because I am really bored and I kind of like doing YouTube videos. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys. Doesn't get out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Oh, also be st stay tuned for a room tour.